The last piece of the puzzle when it comes to electricity is power. So electric power is the rate at which energy is delivered. Now, in your house, you don't pay for power. Right? You pay for the energy you use. And so if you go outside your house and you find the, the meter out there, um, this measures how much energy you use. And so energy is um, in watts, or joules per second. And you'll see the units on these are kilowatt hours, which is power times time, which gives you energy. So, you know, energy, power, power, which we use P, um, is energy over time. Well, if you want to know how much energy you use, you're just going to take the amount of power you use and multiply for how long you used it. And so what you actually pay for is energy. Um, and that depends on what you're doing in your house, right? If you're just sitting in the dark, no air conditioner, no heat, you're not using much energy. But if you've got everything going, um, then you're using more. And so if you look at the energy scales we're talking about, average household, 10,000 kilowatt hours. A kilowatt hour is the standard in the power industry. And then a fluorescent light bulb will use about 20,000 joules in an hour. Those are the scales we're at. So again, we've added one more piece. We have voltage, we have current, we have resistance, and we have power. And again, volts, amps, ohms, and watts. All right, now we're going to start getting into how all of these relate.